Yes. Yes. All of us, each of us, has his time. The right Honorable Jacob Olanya has left us. And I would like to give a tribute for his life. I first met Jacob Olanya in Parliament. Uh, to date, I am the longest serving MP, continuous serving MP. 36 years of service until last year, from 86 until last year. So many of these people have been coming, others are leaving and coming back. Now, the right Honorable Jacob Oranya was one of those who joined us and he was in the opposition under UPC. And he was very fiery. He was giving us what, would, what I like as good opposition. And our first good close encounter was when they had brought mobile phones. When mobile phones came, they were very big, they were thick. They were quite, they, these days we call them a block. Now, smart as he has always been, uh, Jacob Bum was very fast enough to get a holster. This bag uh, this way out to carry like a mobile phone on your belt. He's always very, he was always very fast with technology. So for him he had got a holster and put his phone there. Now during those hot uh, debates, uh, we'd be watching these uh, members from the opposition. And then General Katruma alerted me, said, but it seems this one has a gun. He said, well, you see there is something protruding on his on his side. You watch. So we said, let's wait for him. The following day, I waited for him at the entrance. And when he was entering, so I saw that protruding thing, and I held his hand. I held his hand and pulled him inside the lobby. And, uh, and then touched here to see what it was. He said, you have a gun? Ah, he jumped and brought out, the, this is a phone. He threw it down, he put off his belt, he put it down, shouting. Fortunately, General Sare was nearby and he came and said, no, 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 this is a mistake, it's not a gun. So we parted there. And uh, it became so bad that the, 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 it became so bad that they had, they had sent us to the display like committee. But I talked to him, we forgave each other, uh, we did not have to continue with the display like committee. And from then, from that encounter, we became very, very good friends. He was a member of our prayer breakfast. So from then, we became very good friends to the time he has passed on. And uh, recently, when these elections were there, I was involved in mobilizing uh, all the people to support him. So I am. We are going, uh, for the best I can say, I can say a lot about the right Honorable Jacob Olanya, but for purposes of fast saving time, let me read my tribute. Death has come and it has taken right Honorable Jacob Olanya from us. Life and death both, can we say, are they good or are they bad? Is the victor of this over the pain and suffering of this world a good thing or a bad thing? To die is a must. The issue is what impact has one left behind. Right Honorable Joko Waranya is one special person during his lifetime who has left an indelible impact of love, impact of leadership, impact of friendship, impact of service, impact of dedication, impact of commitment, impact of resilience, impact of oratory, impact of inspiration, impact of sharing, let us remember, let us all who love him, 
let us all who admire him, those who liked him, those who learned from him, and all those he impacted, let them not just mourn. That's my advice. Let, let them not just mourn, as those without hope. Let us all celebrate the wonderful time we shared with him. The great emotions, we invoke his memory. Do not mourn his death. I repeat, do not mourn his death. Celebrate his life that will remain in us. To the family of Jacob Olanya, to the village of Jacob Olanya, to the constituency of Jacob Olanya, to the constituency, to the northern region, to the NRIM, to the parliament, to the whole country, to the bigger fellowship of God loving people world over. Let us all join the tribute song, each of us putting your own words. Please do. He has left a gap in our lives and in many positions. The challenge for all alive is to fill that gap in a small or in a big way. Fill this gap not as he would himself, but as you or me or in your way. Let us do our best to add to his foundation. Let us add to his ideals. Let us improve where he left. Let us achieve his vision to which he devoted his life. Let us make the best of what Right Honorable Jacob Olanya stood for. Let each of us prepare, I repeat, prepare. Let each of us be ready, let us repent. Let us know clearly that death is near and it comes when it must. And it is God's appointed time called Kairos. I again repeat, do not mourn as without hope celebrate his life. By doing the best and let God do the rest, we shall be doing what is expected of us. Let our talk and deed not poison the air. Let our response not make his death a source of pain, but an inspiration. Expand the room for improvement, which is the biggest room in the world. The story of King Solomon in the Bible, as well as the story of Alexander the Great, and the stories of many great people in history, are there to remind us of the futility of humankind. Fare thee well, our great friend. Fare thee well, our great speaker, our great orator. You have flown away beyond the horizon where all of us shall. Your flight in life has left a good trail. From your childhood and school time, you saw it be, you saw it be great and finished university as the speaker of Makiri. As a politician, you saw it even higher from the grassroots to be an MP to even higher to become the speaker. In the party, a deputy chairman. In the hearts of people, a loved leader. Your final victory day has come to overcome the pain and suffering of this busy world. You have left when loved. You have left after victories. You have left at a high note. You have left us all with a great challenge of filling your wide gap. Your time to depart has come. Kairos, Kairos, Kairos. God's appointed time has come and no one can stop it. All of us have our time. Each of us must go. Kairos, Kairos, Kairos. God's appointed time. Let all people prepare well. Let us all repent. That appointed time is always very near. You as right Honorable Jacob Olanya has come. Great people live, smaller people live. But what is important is the track record each one left, leaves behind. Yours, Jacob Olanya, is a bold track record, an inspiring, an inspiring track record to the future generations, to the young people, to encourage all that they can all make it if they follow you, if they study your values, if they care to stand for the same principles you very well espouse. Those who know you well, know your cheerfulness, your smile and laughter, 
your willingness to forgive and to quickly say sorry. You are uniting efforts are on record everywhere. You are discipline and patience. You are firmness and resilience. You are oratory and speech. You are argument and logic. You are simplicity and calmness. You are sportsmanship and fitness. You are willingness to listen. You are genuine expression of your views with confidence. Your great love for the people, the list can go on. To each one, let each one of us add more. Fare thee well, fare thee well. You have run your race, you have finished your course, you have won your prize. Let rest, rest in eternal peace.